Yo, Armando Bake out here. It's Luke May. This is Tyler Hintz, bro. University of North Carolina. This is North Carolina. I just want to shout out my boy J Bear underscore YT. J Bear underscore YT. This Carolina family, baby. Go Heels. Go Heels. What's up, boys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about another UNC recruit in this video. It's going to be another UNC recruit review today. And since we've done both the freshmen for this uh, 2021 class, now we're going to get into the transfers. And uh, no particular order on the transfers. Uh, I'm just going to get started today. We're going to go with Dawson Garcia, who is going to be a sophomore coming in to this upcoming year. It's been his first year at Marquette. I actually, interesting to see that they show that he has signed with North Carolina, which is true. Uh, but yeah, so Dawson Garcia, he is out of Prior Lake, Minnesota, at Prior Lake High School. He did originally commit to the University of Marquette. Um, and I think that is was due to the fact that Walker Kessler committed there. I think he was planning on going to UNC if Walker Kessler didn't go. Um, but now that he unfortunately is transferred, Dawson Garcia is going to come in. So who had a, actually a better freshman season than Walker overall. But yeah, he's listed at power forward, but he can play center. Or honestly, I've heard he can play the three. I'm not exactly sure about it. The way he plays makes me think he could. He doesn't exactly probably have the speed and athleticism necessary to play that position, but you know. But primarily a four and five. Um, this has him at 6'9", 210. Obviously, he's uh, bigger than that now. And I'm pretty sure he's taller, too. Uh, according to UNC's 2021 roster, he's the tallest person on the team at like 6'11", I believe. But anyways, he was a four-star recruit with an 87th grade who is now transferring to the University of North Carolina. And this is a guy who tested the waters in the NBA as well. So that's also interesting to think about. Over here on 24-7 Sports, my preferred site for this kind of recruiting stuff. Dustin Garcia was rated at 37 in the nation, fourth ranked um, power forward and number two overall player in the state of Minnesota. So one of those guys not too far off from being a five-star recruit. Um, but yeah, he tested the NBA waters before he committed to UNC. So we're getting a really good player in Dustin Garcia here. Um, and over here on rivals.com, 43rd in the nation. Um, all these websites have these guys at different um, heights and weights, so it's interesting. But anyways, um, so yeah, coming out of high school, really big time recruit, number five at his, at the power forward position according to rivals, and um, peaked at 32 in the rankings, which is almost five star type stuff. But he had goodness, he had so many offers to go to so many different places. Um, but Marquette did end up being his year one choice at least, I think. Uh, North Carolina was his top choice, but as I said earlier, Walker Kessler decided to go. But some other teams that he was recruited by, Indiana's a pretty big program, Iowa, Kansas, uh, Maryland, uh, Arizona is a pretty big program as well, North Carolina, obviously, Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, Wisconsin, uh, so it was big Texas Tech, Texas, big time schools in there for Dawson Garcia, and now he is in Chapel Hill, where he belongs. So over here, I'm gonna let's watch some uh, highlights. We're actually gonna be watching the UNC highlights where he dropped 24 and 11 on the heels. His best game of the season, I believe it was. Um, of course, against the team he'd be joining later on uh, in a in probably the worst Tar Heel loss of the last year's season. Um, so let's get right into it. Shout out to Swish for this video. Let's start reacting to these highlights. I'll turn this volume down. All right, so we got Dawson Garcia wearing number 33. There he is at the top, getting guarded by Garrison Brooks. Left over for the wipe and midi, and he knocks it down. He can shoot from all three levels. He didn't really, he didn't necessarily consistently do that last year, but we saw that he was capable. Here's a three point shot right here from Dawson Garcia. I uh, had multiple places to go that I could have passed it off as well. Garcia now in the post, guarded by Garrison Brooks. He's going to come up and set a screen. And he's going to come off the screen, get the ball here. He's going to drive on Leaky Black, who's really athletic and versatile. So that's a, a good play there by Dawson to be able to get that over Leaky there. 
seeing another screen popping off of it. Wants to take the three, doesn't, and drives to the bucket after Walker Kessler jumps. So good play there from Dawson Garcia as well. Now he got the switch. He's on, getting guarded by Caleb Love. Gets the ball down low and finishes with the foul, getting fouled by Dayron Sharp there. He's a really good player. Um, don't know exactly what to say. He's versatile at the 4 and 5 at the very least. Uh, he's probably going to be playing quite a bit of center minutes since the only other real center option that we're going to be having for the season is Arlano Vega, who will obviously be starting there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see Brady Manick uh, start at the 4 and maybe Dawson Garcia kind of being that getting significant like six man tight minutes and like backing up the four and the five so but yeah we're gonna need some guy somebody who can uh play five but yeah here okay here's another mid ranger from dawson garcia big time shot there so yeah that's dawson garcia um let me know what you guys think about dawson in the comments down below like i said earlier potential nba type player did i say nfl earlier? i feel like i might have if I did, it's the NBA, obviously. Uh, watching the Chiefs-Ravens game right now, so I'm distracted about that. Anyways, uh, yeah, potential NBA guy in Dustin Garcia. Really good talent and really smoked the heels when he played him in the, um, the Smith Center. So let me know what you think about him in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, share, turn on notifications, do all that YouTube stuff. I appreciate your guys' support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.